These three behaviors will undermine your optimism, undermine your confidence, undermine your energy, your productivity, and your contribution. And those three behaviors are blaming, complaining, and making excuses. Your excuses will destroy you and take everything that you ever wanted from you, if you let them. Doesn't sound like a friend. No, it's definitely not a friend. It's definitely not a friend. It, it can seem like a friend, just like your friend that uh, keeps feeding you drinks at the bar can seem like a friend, but are they really helping you in any way, shape, or form? No, they're not. They're not. So when, you, when your excuses make you feel a little bit better about the fact that you didn't execute on what you needed to execute on, then they can make you feel better, but they're not helping you. They're not helping you at all. I choose to use absolutes very sparingly. But you will never, ever improve your life or move yourself forward by blaming, complaining, or making excuses. It's I own the process and I own the responsibility and the accountability to, to how I contribute to that. You know, anytime I don't get a result that I want in my life, in any area of my life, the very first question I ask myself is how was I complicit in not getting what I wanted? Like, how did I contribute to not getting what I wanted? And the sooner you can learn to untether from the very real temptation to blame, complain, and make excuses, it's like taking an emotional weight vest off. You immediately become emotionally more agile. And do you know what you are if you're not emotionally agile? You're emotionally fragile. And you simply cannot be a high performer or contribute to the level you're capable of if you are emotionally fragile. Owning the outcome means regardless of what the outcome is, I hold myself fully accountable for that and I'm gonna be okay with whatever it is. Now with that said, so people don't think I've completely gone insane, I have preferences in life. Like if you're asking me, my preference is to win rather than to lose. Yeah. That's a preference. Yes. But you don't win all of the time. Yep. So for me, I need to have solace in knowing, did I do everything possible to put myself in a position to earn the right to win? And sometimes I'm not going to. And I own that outcome every bit as much as I own the ones when I win. I own praise just as much as I own criticism and vice versa. And yet you have to be okay with that. Rather than feel the pain of saying that I'm inadequate or I'm not taking action, we, we cast our, our inadequacy on some outside object or some outside circumstance. And by doing that, we remove all agency and all power that we have over our lives. And for me, I would rather be somebody who has absolute power and have nothing to show for it than somebody who has all the, all the, the things to show for it but know that I'm life's don't worry so much about the events and circumstances and what other people say and do. Don't worry so much about the outer world, but be incredibly thoughtful, purposeful, and intentional in your response to those things. See, we do not control what goes on around us. We always control our response. And I want you to be thoughtful, intentional, and purposeful on your response. It's looking myself in the mirror and saying, what could I have done differently in every situation? And to me, that's one of the most important questions we can ask.